Hello, I'm Jerry Fort. I'm gonna review. Well, it's not really a review. It's gonna be just a just eating some sardines um, and trying some different sauces on them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I've got a few here that I keep in my refrigerator for when I'm, you know, just want something to add on something at one of my lunches or something. So here we got. Wild Planet, when they sent me some products um, a while back, they sent me two of each. So I've got another one of the Wild Sardines in extra virgin olive oil, uh, lightly smoked. So that's what I'm going to use. Scale free, sustainably caught in the North Pacific. Excuse me. Nutritional powerhouse. But like I like I mentioned, I've already reviewed this, so if you're interested in seeing that review, just look it up. It says, <clears throat> We pack North Pacific sardines of superior freshness. The fish have a firm, meaty texture and rich, mild flavor. Enjoy this healthy and versatile fish anytime. All right. I'm going to drain this oil out. <clears throat> there, I'll leave a little bit. I forgot how big these things were. These are big ones. There are three of them in here, and they're, they're a good size. Whew. Strong smelling fish. Okay, so I don't know, this could be a long video. gonna set them on this plate probably be the safest thing to do okay so let's try um, um, when M MW Polar sent me um, some products um, they sent me um, this has been a, a long long time ago they sent me two well they sent me this they sent me this one and excuse me the other one I got is at my house but this one here is the the uh, MW Polar uh, version of Sriracha. It's a chili sauce. <clears throat> so let's get a piece. Get a piece of this guy out. Whew. Wow. Look how big that is. A little spinal cord in there. All right, so let's try this. I kind of shook it up a little bit, a little bit ago. <clears throat>
what is the problem? I think it's dried, dried it shut from the last time I used it or something. <clears throat> I'm gonna use this toothpick. See if I can. See if that did it. There we go. Okay. All right, let's check this one out. <clears throat> Still has a bite to it. Hmm. Well, that didn't really go good with that. I don't know. Now, I might be. It seems how this is an extra virgin olive oil. I don't know. This might be a bust. This might not be a good video. Pairing with, with the stuff that's got the. The. Um, Extra virgin olive oil just might not go good with them. But <clears throat> let's continue on. Um, might as well get the, get the sriracha. The original sriracha out of the way. Try it and see if it's any different. Actually, was a little bit better. Um, I mean, they're they're different. This one here is more ketchup colored. This one here is more chili sauce colored. So I don't know. Um, I don't know exactly what the difference is, but <clears throat> okay. So let's try. Um, let's get another piece of fish out. Let's try. Let's move down over there. <clears throat> How about some Louisiana? The, orig the original Louisiana hot sauce. It's got that strong vinegar aroma. I don't know, actually this might be the best thing on it. This might burn me.
I'm, you know, I'm thinking that, there goes my napkin. Um, I'm thinking that <clears throat> the, the olive oil is just not, is not mixing with these different things very well. Um, vinegar and olive oil. No, I think that's, I don't think that's right. Um, what about mustard? What about mustard and olive oil? I think it being olive oil, it's not meant, it's not meant for a topping, you know? I don't think it's really meant for a topping to go on there, a sauce or something. You know, you can get some <clears throat> sardines in a mustard sauce, you know. Um, it got in the Louisiana hot sauce just a little bit. That wasn't too bad. It's still, it's still just really just not, it's just really not acting like it's supposed to have that on there. Okay, yeah, I got my last one. How about some Valentina? It's the extra hot. Saved it for last because it's gonna like <clears throat> destroy my palate for anything else. My stomach's probably saying, What are you doing to us? What is or what are you doing to me? Oh man. It came off my fork and flipped upside down. It's still on there pretty good. now <clears throat> well you know I, I've learned something that's how I always take it um, you guys probably already know no Jerry you can't really put anything like that on sardines that are already have olive oil on it being an older you know guy you would think I would know that, but <laughs> I don't. So this is just plain. Last piece. And it has flavor to it already, so. Getting little pieces of crunchy spinal cord in there. All right. If nothing else, it's a it's a good dumb video to watch, you know. Just just think of it as one of Jerry's dumb videos. Some of you are saying one of most of his videos are dumb. <laughs> but maybe that's why you like it. Maybe that's why you like my channel, because a lot of my videos are just plain stupid. <laughs> okay. There you go. That's my lunch today. Come here. It was an adventurous lunch, you know. Learn something. Learn something new. 
learned what not to do. Maybe you guys know of something that <clears throat> you can put as a sauce type thing on top of something that has been soaked in extra virgin and olive oil. A lot of Italian foods, you know, have that. Um, but a lot of it is like stuff that's pasta type stuff, you know, or, and usually pasta, I, I, I just blanket it with Parmesan cheese. I like Parmesan cheese. Okay. Well, I'm going to end it there. I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And, um, let me know. Let me know if you can think of something else that it might have been, might have went well with. And I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.